Hello, ladies and germs. It is time for another review from a movie. And this movie is the new Chucky movie, The Curse of Chucky. Or Child's Play 4, 6, four 8, something. 4.8. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But I will tell you, technically, this is definitely the creepiest Child's Play movie. Because the first one, really, it was more scary, not in trying to be a creepy way as much, where I did the slow everything, and Chucky's just like this most of the time, almost all the time. He's just like... Mm-hmm. And you get halfway through the movie, and he's like, YOU FUCKING BITCH! Well, I kind of disagree with you there. I wouldn't say it's the scariest. I wouldn't say, I, I mean, it. the creepiest thing to creepiest. The first one's the creepiest. No. Yep. The new one is... His eyes going like this. I mean, it's creepy, but it's just the... It's just... You need to rewatch the first one, good sir. But, well, I've watched the first one. Like, you need to rewatch it again. I did rewatch it. Because for one, the the type of the, the video quality of the movie, mm. like, it didn't have that old feel to it like the original did, and that made it scary just in itself. That's why I was, thought it was kind of scary. The like, old grainy feel is not very creepy. It is to me. And the new one, you might be creepy a little bit, but in some parts, it was just... Also, we got an HD version. They got the better version of it. Doesn't matter. No, nope. Maddie no. and Dad watched it, and no, but still, I still think it's the first one's the creepiest. <clears throat> what do you think, scariest one so far? Um, if I would have picked one, uh, what tries to be scariest? One. Probably it's the first one. I'd say the first one is the scariest, but I'd say it's the creepiest. Though. The creepiest would be the. Creepiest would be see the Chucky and the fucking I'm not the right Glenda. No, that's just a weird. That's just a. That's a weirdo. Weird, crazy. creepy. That's yeah. like a what the fuck. Oh, I did like that. God bless the little people. Fat, 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 fat. fat. It's too uh, funny. Yeah. yeah. Now straight DVD movie that would have worked. This should have been yeah, a theatrical. I agree. A three, a, I agree. This should have been <clears throat> a theatrical release movie. See a Chucky probably should have been straight DVD, but instead, it is different. Yeah. This still should have been in theaters though, and I'm hoping yep, yep. if it gets more and more popular, they might be released at least limited in theaters. Yeah, that'd be good. I mean, it did it, it did have a showing for just one showing. Because, but... and the only thing that was like kind of weirded in the like how it's filmed was when Chucky's like walking like this. That's also because we had HD, because that didn't happen in their version yeah. of it. I can tell Stella was CGI. I know, bad. but they, it wasn't like that in theirs at all. Yeah, still. Yeah, they should just handle CGI and it whatsoever. That would have just saved the scene a lot better. I mean, like, uh, Evil Dead had mostly no CGI? Yeah. Like <coughs> that. They didn't actually make, they didn't take an actual object and actually make a CGI. They just actually, like, maybe a drop of blood or two. But most of the blood was actually real blood, or fake blood. It might have so. slowed it down and stuff with camera yeah. work. Yeah, but other than that, no. And there's just, there's just so much in this movie, it's hard not to spoil anything, really. Yeah. I just say, some character that you love from the first movies is back at the very end. You gotta find out, see who it is. Um, and Chucky's even has a, what the fuck, face on him. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that was good. <coughs> um, everything ties together. Except for see a Chucky. Except for see the Which Chucky. Which is a good thing yeah, to some, yeah, or a bad some. thing to some. I enjoy see the Chucky. I mean, it's good on its own terms if you just look at it like that. Really, see a Chucky is a good movie, but it don't it fit should. in the universe. It doesn't, it doesn't. It fits the Ryan Chucky yeah. universe, but not yeah. even that well, even because yeah. Ryan Chucky was even trying to be scary a little bit. It yeah. doesn't fit in a child's play anthology. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, the doll sex is still like one of the worst scenes in any Chucky movie. I don't know what I don't. I don't know what they're smoking. I don't know what they're smoking to come up with the idea of just having like two plastic dolls just. Well, Mary, the more the longer they're in the bodies, they can uh, well, they become anatomically correct. Oh, yeah, but, for, I guess. but if you really think about it, though, I mean, uh, I never watched that movie. But it was like, the oh, the day. Tiffany doll replica I bought had no nipples, so they are not anatomically correct. But like the A team, 
Not the A team, but the the movie with the Team America. There you go. That had freaking mm-hmm. doll sex too. And we thought that was funny. Mm-hmm. There you go. Watch that. <coughs> and there you go. That's what they're trying to do. You know wow, Eric Bowen. America. Now in in the in the new one. Okay. The acting um it it ranges like the main actress the one that's the main one. She did a she really good, good job. She was good. Brad Dorff's daughter. Mm-hmm. Now, the her sister, the one that uh, she don't like very much. She, she was average. Like, she was average. Yeah, okay. okay. The, the 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 dad. The dad was oh. okay. I, the I, decent in the nanny, she was okay. Nah. Yeah, but they're definitely better dicks than the like in the third movie. The the academy people were just kind of. But I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like. Oh, the, the haircut the thing actor, was pretty funny though. I actually didn't like the dad that's acting that much. What the Who's that? He's like the least really? best of all of them. I liked the parts he did. Like the good lines he did have were pretty like funny. Yeah. We just like. <laughs> that was funny. And you know, the character development, other than the main lead, character was kind of one dimensional. But they're it's one, one, maybe one dimensional, but it's I mean it fits with the movie really pretty good, you know, because you know the main the main actress is the one you really care for. So I mean she's the one that you wanted to have the act, good acting. So you know the other people were just you know they just you know what you know what, and you know sure. and also you know it connects like all movies except for see a Chucky really together. <clears throat> that's also some of the fault of this movie is because yes. it makes no sense like yes. some things yeah. some things it does make sense and some things it doesn't yep. um speaking of character uh development yeah character development um there is a scene in the movie where they show character development of chucky and it's character development that we really didn't care or really ever want to see or know that it ever existed. Well, if they did it in a way to where it was cool, it would have been good. But no, the way but they, they, gone, they got fucked yeah, up. Yeah, they kind of, I'm not going to say exactly what they did to it, but... Like, Does it say they took that yeah. creepy fat, fat, fat to a whole new level? It's, well, it's, oh, no, it's it wasn't as bad as masturbating the doll it's form. Just, it's just that, you know... Well, he is a doll, just, so it was kind of out porn. of character a little bit. <coughs> you see what I mean when, when you watch it. Yeah. They say he's not as smart as he should be, and is that origin part. Yeah. Although the lighting and everything were, was awesome. Yeah, also really yeah, surreal. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the way that was filmed was really good. Do you remember, uh, if you guys remember uh, Sin City at all? That's yeah. what oh, yeah, that, yeah, that reminded yeah, me of that. Yeah. Yeah, the bastard. Um. <laughs> Can we put a sequel for that, either? Oh, another thing is, I was hoping <coughs> there would be a lot gore than it was. Oh, yeah. I do like how he did kill people, though. It was good, but he needed to... They should have had more people to kill in this movie. Yeah, but yeah. the one by one way he took it out, that was kind of cool. Certain it ones was, were really it was, cool. It was decent. Like, it was, the first kill was really cool. I mean, the way how his ex kill was good, but the way the way how the gra- like the graphics and the gore you want to see, it wasn't really that gory at all. You see, like, the first death in the movie, you didn't even see it happen. You just, you know, just see her uh, Actually, yes. Yeah, Oh, yeah, her, but the second death, the priest, you do see that. Yeah, but you don't know, like, well, you know, you'll see it. I mean, there's a part where you actually don't see it actually happen, but you see the aftermath of it. Well, you see him die. Yeah, you see him die, but you don't actually see the... the but that's how he dies, yeah. though. I know, but it would have been cool if they actually showed him, you know... And it's kind of realistic, because that stuff happens real life. Yeah, I know, but yeah. it's just, I just wish they showed it happen. Instead of showing kind of like... The and I'm hoping they keep going happen. in this direction, though, and yeah. if they make it after this, it might be even better, especially with that... Return of someone I just mentioned oh, yeah. earlier from old movies that everyone loves. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna love that. Yeah, I know, I love that. It was awesome. Um, Especially the, if they show it, him uh, versus Tiffany, that'd be really funny. Oh, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Mitch probably wants to see him slap Tiffany. <laughs> I don't want to see her at all. Oh, she, he, he's a Tiffany hater, guys. Don't, don't yeah, he listen. hates don't, Tiffany. Don't listen, don't listen to him. No, because actually... I for one think Jennifer Tilly shot Sean. blonde hair. No, it's not that. It's Sean. not. I liked her. I liked her in the in the Bride of Chucky, but I am shaving mm-hmm. my finger at you, good sir. You have been shunned. Huh? And uh-huh. they did. <coughs> I disagree with everyone saying he looked Asian, because there are only some parts where he squinted his eyes a little bit. But that's because he was squinting his eyes with a weird kind of smile thing. And I just remember Most that. of the movie, he doesn't do that. I, I generally didn't like the mechanics of the new doll that. I like so it compared to see the Chucky. Yeah. I think Chucky was fine. <laughs> No. 
they actually well, kind of make them kind of look cute. Chucky at least looks fine. Chucky at least. Not even Chucky. They're trying to make them kind of look cute. Really, the most depressing thing is, is that the animatronics from like the second and third one is better than this movie. That, that's yeah. kind of sad. I have to admit, I mean, I, I, mean, I was kind of disappointed by it. I mean, it was good. There was good stuff. But then there was also a lot of bad, too. Just but like, just... But it's not to worry. It's like so bad. But like, see a Chucky, they fire. try to make him look kind of cute, though. Especially Tiffany. Like they have the new doll designs kind of cute looking. Tiffany is fucking ugly. The doll itself is fucking hideous. No, they try. I to... just looked at a picture of the doll last night. It was fucking horrifying. They tried to make them cutie looking with bigger heads and the bodies even yeah, more. Yeah, kind of did a little bit. Yeah, they have like button noses and stuff. Yeah. They kind of did. If that you look, bit. you could compare them. Yeah. And this Chucky design is superior to that one. Oh yeah. Because he looks yeah, more like is. the old Chucky. Yeah, yes. But I mean, that's superior to see a Chucky isn't really like that ain't very much of a difference. <laughs> Of how low shade that movie was. No, uh, I mean that 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 way how you looked in that one. So, like, actually, since the but so it, actually the look of the movie tank see a Chucky was technically better because. Yeah, but see, like what I'm saying is, out of all the movies, this one ranks as number five in terms of the best Chucky look. Like it's like right like see Chucky's last. This is pretty. Much. I still think the best Chucky look is without all the scars because. That's <coughs> I mean, the actually one was really good. Too kind of creepy without all the scars. On his face, he's kind of creepier without it because yeah, he can pull it off more. Because who's gonna fucking trust a doll with scars on their face? Be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. Why is there scars on his face? Yeah. No reason. Unless, I unless you're like one of those metal, like yeah. one of the metalhead horror movies, <coughs> those type of things. Yeah. I like fucking car slamming tourists. Yeah. Like those, yeah, but like just the families, like who's like doesn't even get it that much and they don't have that, you know? And then why would you send? <laughs> I mean, what are those scars on your face? I ran through a door. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Chucky. N- n- My big. scar ran through a door. <laughs> um, the ending, I, I, I really didn't like the ending. Yeah, that much. ending. It kind of broke the chain of what a child's play movie ending should what be. What happened in it? Yeah, yeah should be. Well, the first ending, since technically there's, th- seems like there's three endings yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. The very, 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 very last ending is the best. And that the second awesome. one is okay. The first ending makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, it just... I got kind of, I was just kind of like, huh? huh? Right. What? Yeah. Because if they show a little bit more of what happened, maybe yeah. it makes sense. But they cut off at that point where yeah. it made no sense. Yeah. Then they just leave And them. then went to the second ending. And then went to the third ending. Or, uh, yeah, they're... Well, what is the very, very last yeah. ending? And then they, like, left you out in the cold, like a... Dark puppy die. Yeah, pretty much. So the second and third ending is almost like the first one didn't even really count. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <coughs> it's like they just want to just like try to shock you in every given time. Because <gasps> it kind of had a jump scare in the first ending, and it was just kind of like, yeah. why? Yeah. Because it makes no sense at all. Mm-hmm. It doesn't explain it. Now, cinematography in this movie is it's really good. Better yeah. than pretty much most straight DVD movies. I agree with that. And the music's really well done. The music's, I mean, it's decent. I mean, I was compared I, to also most straight DVD movies. Compared to movies, but compared to like an actual horror movie, the actual say this should have been a theatrical and, movie. And the guy who composed it was the guy who composed the Evil Dead movies, the first three, the, really? the trilogy. And when you hear that music, and then you hear this music, you're like, really? You could have been so much better. Really? I disagree. Yeah, I there were some songs on here that are, that are good, like that bass one. That was there good was some, one. but there was some like, the, especially the very beginning intro, the one you hear. I mean, it, it was cool, but like. It's almost sounded like it was so it was like low budget music. Like you're like hoping maybe it was just a little more elegant. They should have more. actually had retro music and make it yeah. kinda sound like the first Chucky movie. Yeah, the first second yeah, one. Synthesizer and keyboards and they should have like actually that. had the same music kind of. Yeah. So that way it would have fit in even more, connect everything together, but yeah. it didn't. No, they had that yeah, but other than that, I mean it was, I mean, the music was still decent, it was adequate and it meant the movie went along really well and I'll just say if you're hoping for uh, more serious Chucky movie, at least most of it. Yeah, because at the yeah. end, Tori gets back to like the kind of more like Bride of Chucky type Chucky than the. It still the seems person. serious though. It wasn't yeah, like very bit. ha ha ha. Yeah, a little bit. It wasn't that funny. Yeah, but he yeah, and a couple of, some of his one liners were good, but some of them weren't. Like I was disappointed by that. I was, and like another thing is, like he like the voice actor he or Brad Dorf, he kind of his voice kind of wasn't like when I heard him talk. Like, he almost, you could tell he was getting older. I was like, dang, man. I remember, like, when he used to talk, he used to have, like, a really voice, like, mean voice, and he just got angry. 
But like in this one, when he got angry, it was just like, I mean, yeah, that's pretty. It's that's almost it's pretty good, but it just it just didn't have his like. I mean, mean, I really didn't notice that that one. much. Yeah, I, I didn't know, either, especially I mean, if you look at him too. He looks pretty good for his age, so I highly doubt his voice has changed that much. It did. It did, I'm telling you. Because when I listen to that voice... If I anything, the song gets older, the voice actually gets even more no, like that. Yeah, no, but see, it's just like... He might he just softer, put everything into it as much. He talks softer in this much. movie. He talks softer in this movie. That's he always like, talks softer in the movie. But he is trying to keep things down low more yeah, in this. Yeah, but even at the end, he was still soft. Well, compared to all the other Child's Play movies, this one would... Wouldn't be like, oh, you motherfucking bitch, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you, kind of atmosphere. Yeah, compared well, to the other ones. yeah, but even the first one, like, you know, you remember the first one when that girl picked the, the mom picked him up? He's like, you son of a bitch, he started freaking yelling, going crazy, even in the first one. Well, they're, and that one was they're, serious. they're introducing you to Chucky in the first movie, and they wanted to make an impact, and that scene made yeah, a Yeah, but it didn't, happen until until, it didn't happen until like an hour into the movie. But that was really so, cool when they did that. Too. This one he didn't do any of that. When you hear Chucky, you want him to scream and yell. So like, so like, uh, so like how uh, uh, Dan, Dan, Dan Vito, you know how he does the panel, yeah. how he does that scratchy mean voice. Like if you know you, you're, I was hoping that he would like be mean and menacing like the way, like he used to be when he had that mean evil voice. But this one when he did it, he just I mean you could tell he was getting a little older and it was a little more softer. And I was just like, dang it, oh I wish he went crazy again in a crazy evil way instead of just a more of a you know, kind of a... Well, if you want to see a Chucky, it's kind of like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Brian Chucky, he kind of like, like, normal, though. A little bit. But he did do his little <laughs> laugh. Oh, I like yeah. Well, I did like, uh, I wish they kind of had him, like, a little bit of humor in it. That would have been kind of cool to see, because he's oh, always had a little bit of humor. Yeah. Um, uh... Oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going Huh. Like in the second movie, remember when the elevator and those people are like, oh, <coughs> like that tone when you going up the elevator, stuff like that is good and it's still it's still a pretty good movie, you know. I did like silly. in uh, Bride Chucky where he hears Rob Zombie, he's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, mean, I was um, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, I'm going to say that's one maybe one of the reasons that he didn't speak in a harsh tone was because the Chris Chucky is a. A lot more story driven than some of the more more recent Chucky movies. If you think uh, about it. No, I wouldn't say that. The movie it was still sort of story driven, but at the same time, like the movie was slow, but it was slow. Like it was like, kind of trying it's to. It's actually kind suspense. of a slow burner movie but, compared to other Chucky movies. Yeah, compared to other movies, yeah, I was happy about that. Like the way I was, there's a lot of people complaining about how the movie's boring until Chucky starts going crazy, like in the half. Or, like, when like, he starts talking. Ch- yeah. yeah, when he starts doing stuff. But like, I like, that thing out of well, I like the way I heard, like but that. I like the way when you heard like your footsteps and you hear like stuff and you're running around, and you know that that was really good. And then when you started, the more like the more farther the movie went down, the more like I was mm-hmm. like, man, it, it was so awesome at the beginning, and it was so awesome in the middle, and it was so awesome to the last twenty minutes of the movie. Then the after that, like the last twenty minutes, it just just started slowly going downhill. But it was still good enough to where it was good. It was just, it was just starting to go down. I'm going to say, I watch. think it should be in a theatrical release. It's supposed to be a theatrical release. Yeah. And I see a Chucky, which is, this movie, Superior, see a Chucky. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, it's superior to Bride of Chucky, too. And a lot of people love Bride of Chucky, yeah. and it was in theaters, and see yeah. Chucky's in the theaters. Why the fuck is this not in theaters? Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. Well, let's hope this one is, or the next movie, if they have one. Maybe <clears> because they want to get this out of the soon as they possibly could. Yeah, because. And that, too, because I think they're yeah. going to lose the rights, I think. Uh, it's not just that, no, they also want to get as fast out to people. Yeah. So yeah. They want to make people like Chucky again. And yeah, but if you think about it, though, they would take a while. They weren't in that much of a hurry. Well, then, not really. They, cause they uh, were kind of embarrassed. Front, like, the creator himself was kind of embarrassed to see a Chucky. Even though a lot of people liked it, a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah. Especially the original. It's like it's like you have the fan, you have the people like in like the 2000s generation. They were more into, like, the scream, self-aware comedy yeah. horror. But people in the 90s, like, or, like, in the early 80s, late 80s, early 90s, they were, it was more scary and dark, yeah. uh, but dark, like, dark humor mm-hmm. and dark stuff like that. And that turned a lot of the, the actual main people that, like, the people that loved, that first started the actual, who were the fans of the first three, it kind of put them off, but it brought in some other fans of different generation of fans. Brian Chucky was very, like, no, not many people disliked it. See a Chucky was different, though. A lot of people well, disliked that. I know that. a lot of people that disliked that movie, too. 
I just said not as many people dislike Dick compared yeah, to Chucky. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying still a lot of people dislike As one of most pop, probably Chucky is one of the most popular Chucky movies. Yeah, but like I said, up to that self-aware generation. Those, and that's big. There's because if you look at the fan, okay, you look at the fans of the original three. It was okay. It was a, it was a pretty good amount of people. But then when they added that self rental stuff in it and all that stuff, it boosted up to where it made a shit like. Yeah, like how they seemed like it was in our world. Yeah, and that's why that's why it brought in a new generation of people. Those generations loved this movie, but the, like I said before, the fans of the original three did not like it that much at all. And now we're back at the soul burning, yeah, uh, scary kind of and movies. And like actually, the con- a lot of fans I know like a lot of fans I know like that. Like the Conjuring and stuff. That's why this movie's yeah. probably still burning. Yeah. It's because that's what's popular at the moment. Yeah. You gotta get a point there. It's weird and slow yeah. burning horror movies. Yeah, it could have been a little bit more like creepier as it's slow, and it could have been more sounds and utilizing sounds and stuff like that. More weird voodoo shit happening. Yeah, and weird like, voodoo shit, yeah. Because a lot of that's in this movie. Like, a lot and something like that. That's never happened before, really, where Chucky, like, like has a door slam shut when he, obviously he didn't do it. Yeah, that was weird. And the lights going on off is because... Well, that's what's going on because... He's affecting stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's because probably of the voodoo stuff. Yeah, kind of. But they don't... I mean, I... They never really explained yeah. if he became a master of it or not, but obviously there's some kind of magic going on in this movie when he's doing shit. It's magic. You know. I forgot the lyrics to this song. It's magic. You know. Blah, blah, blah. So, I would give this Chucky movie a... <coughs> I'll give it a <coughs> 2. No. A 8.9 maniacal Chucky laughs, which Mitchell Dukes do because he can do it the best. <laughs> and you know, you know, I'm going to you... this. Sorry, I sound as fancy as fuck. I'm going to give this movie a 9 to like fucking drop everything on you at the last minute when you're expecting it. They like fucking like drop thing after thing after thing after thing. And then at the end, you just have this big clusterfuck and you're just trying to figure out what the fuck's going on and you have no idea. And that confused me for a minute. <clears throat> All right, I would give it six maniacal uh, Chucky laughs out of ten. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm actually going to change mine just to ten out of ten because this was the best Chucky movie I've seen in a while, and mm-hmm. I held a lot of expectations for this movie. And he might not have liked it as much as me, but the expectations I had for it, I succeeded in, except. For it not making a whole lot of, like a sense at the very end, but besides that, it, it met everything I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna add 10 out of 10. Chucky Monaco laughs. Oh, a random fact: the main girl in the movie is the actor who plays Chucky's daughter, Brad Dora. Yeah, and it's Deanna Dora. Deanna. Dora. Dora. Yeah, this movie could add maybe a little more character development a little bit. Hey, a little bit with the interaction with the characters a little bit better. Hey, what's uh, that? Like, cinematography was good. It was good. Music was decent. Okay, it could have been better. The special effects was pretty good. Could have been better. And that's why I gave it a six. Hey, Mitch, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Is this a young Fiona Duroff um, appear at the end of Seed of Chucky? I just remember seeing this red-haired girl. In no, the because she's she's in her thirties. She'd be like twenty-five or something. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, see, Chucky didn't come out that long ago, I guess. Um, actually, it came out quite a while ago. Nine years ago. Oh. Like I said, she still wouldn't be. She still wouldn't be that young. Um, since I feel like doing this, and I don't care what you do think, I am going to have a. Question of the week. The question of, the question this week is, what is your favorite movie in a Child's Play anthology? Um, comment down below, and whoever has the most, and which movie has the most votes, wins. That's a pretty good yeah. game. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, and also, please rate and subscribe. Yep. And uh, comment about what you think. Which we just talked about, so that's kind of redundant that we just said that. Yeah, but still, it's still cool to listen to what people say. And yeah, redundancy yeah. is idiocy. It's still cool. Redundancy is cool. idiocy. You just that what, was, that, that 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 was redundant. I'm not going to go into that right now. But all right, now as Chucky would say, yeah. shut the fuck up. Decide to get <laughs> off. So you go, you ghouls and boils, ladies and gents and germs, have a good night and stay creepy. Ha 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 ha!